Who knows what these things are? The answer is the end of your headaches and a perfect way to balance out and climate control your safe. Today's video is going to be about the little desiccant canisters that you put in your gun safe, lockbox, whatever you might have, some kind of a sealed case to control your humidity. So these are great little dehumidifiers. It's either this or a golden rod. But the nice thing about these is they don't add heat and they're rechargeable, which we'll get into in a second. So you can keep reusing these things and they stop when you get to something like 40, 45 degrees, which or I'm sorry, percentage humidity. So anything beyond that is uh, you can kind of start damaging things too. So basically the way these things work is when they're all full of moisture, they turn green. When they're in good shape, they're orange. You put them in an oven and some people say microwave, but basically you would just bake them and then they go back around to turning orange again, which dries them out. And then they're, and you just kind of repeat that cycle basically. So, um, basically what's tricky about these is I've just been playing around with these things for a little while and I can get them green, obviously. You leave them in there, that's a good thing, let you know. But when you put them in an oven and you bake them, they start turning orange, but there's a little bit of a problem we're going to get into. The problem with these things is that they're not exactly precise. They're either like a light switch, they're on and off, which the problem is they can accumulate moisture like a dimmer switch and be anywhere in between these things and you don't really quite know where you're at. So when you dry it out, you have to make sure it's totally dry, which that's the goal here. Now, this is a brand new factory sealed one. So we know that this is sealed from the factory for optimum uh, dryness probably. So it should have its longest life right now. So how do we know how much water is in there? Well, meet my little friend at Kitchen Scale. And I also have two of these things that are still in the packages. So if we wanna figure out how much moisture is in these things, what we're gonna do is we're going to weigh them from the factory. All three of these things get an average. And then I have some other ones that I just cooked up and uh, we're going to basically see as dry as you can possibly get it and then how much moisture they'll hold once they're basically filled up. So let's get a good starting reference here of the best optimum balance you can get. Let's do victim number one here. But if you look down inside of here, there we go. It's nice and orange like that. And when you roll it around, you kind of have to check. So here's what I do. I just sort of toss it like this, roll them around, tip it upside down, back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Because if you put this canister, like it advertises, straight into the oven, it only dries out the ones on the outside, doesn't dry out the ones in the core. So if you toss it around, then you look down inside and you're still orange, and you're doing okay. So, let's figure out what these things weigh. And here's the first one up. So that's one pound, 13.6 ounces. And let's do the other two. So you guys don't think I'm pulling any Pokemon you for some reason. I should probably mention, I just went ahead and bought the Wise Orb. Uh, they have some generic ones. I think it was called Lockdown. Me, personally, I have just kind of learned over time. That every time I buy the generic thing, I normally wind up regretting it. And, uh, you know, in this case, it's only like $5 difference. Which, if you plan on having these things for a few years, 5 bucks is nothing. So, let's see what this one does. 
That one is one pound, 14.7 ounces. Okay, put him over here. Open up one more. And yes, if you're wondering, for some reason, this is the new product uh, package, same product, just a new package. And this is the old one. For some reason, I had this one hanging around, sealed up for like a year. I don't know why, but whatever. And here is our last victim. tell they're landing right on the same range here so that's one pound 14.6 ounces I think that's exactly what the last one was too Woo! 0.7 okay so that's pretty consistent one tenth difference and for the first one okay that's about an ounce difference that's still pretty good now this was last year so I guess they kind of cheated me out of a little bit of beads now so this time we have I'll just put these over here for a second these three were sealed up from the factory and these guys were already in use. I was kind of trying them out and I like them so then I bought a few more basically. But these guys were all filled up and I cooked them in the oven and then I realized that hey man this isn't really quite working right so then I kind of refined the process a little bit. So let's see what we have after I did this. Now these guys also do the same thing. Spin them and you twist them. But I noticed when I put just this container in the oven, just put it right on the rack like they tell you, it didn't hurt anything. But only the ones on the very outside that the hot air could get to, only those turned orange. So I mixed it up and I looked down inside, they were still half and half all green. So then I shook them up, put them in, baked them again. I did that like three times and they were still green on the inside so it wasn't really working. So... What I did was, you just get them on an old fashioned, you have to dump this out, sadly, which is what I was trying to avoid. You have to dump them out onto a cookie sheet, bake them, then get a funnel, and then refill them. But once I did that, and these have been, I basically baked them, and they've been sitting inside that bag for about a week, so they've all stabilized. So now we're at one pound, ooh, let me show you here. One pound, 15 ounces. Put this guy here. And one pound of fourteen point six ounces. And one pound fourteen point five ounces. Boom. So everything is within like a tenth of an ounce, except for this guy. I guess I got kind of cheated on that guy. Whatever. So just so you guys get it, these are all three brand new. These guys were ones that I reheated myself. So brand new, factory sealed, do these and you weigh them. Basically, what I noticed is when I cooked these inside the container, they weighed about six ounces heavier. So that's a lot of weight. Hang on one second, let me show you. Okay. Now, if you guys are wondering how much moisture these things were holding before I um, baked them, I baked them once inside the container. It kind of sort of quasi-dried, didn't really like it, did it once or twice. And then I weighed them, and then after I was completely done, you saw those, those measurements. But the surprise is not even full. I really want to do another one of these when they're all the way full. But just kind of like half full. It was way more weight than I ever thought. It was about six ounces, six, seven ounces. So to give you an idea of what six, seven ounces looks like, I've got my little kitchen scale, and this is an empty glass. I have two of these that are the same. 
and I'm going to reset this to tear, which basically takes away the weight of the glass. So when I take that off, this is how much water it takes to weigh about six, seven ounces. So that's a hair over seven. So that's a good half size drinking glass. That's a lot of water. And that was only like half capacity. If these things were totally saturated, I'll bet you would probably get like a full 12, 16 ounce drinking glass worth of water out of these things, which I'm gonna do that next time around. So anyways, guys, it pays to lay these things out on a cookie sheet, really bake them, 250 degrees for two or three hours, or you can probably even squeak that up to about, you know, 300 degrees. I don't think it hurts them, and it gets a little bit better job done. So, all right, guys. Oh, uh, I'll show you my little secret trick here in a little bit to kind of get the most life out of these things you can get. Who knows what these things are? The answer is the end of your headaches and a perfect way to balance out and climate control your safe. Okay, guys, this is a handy little trick on anybody who has a safe that they use uh, goldenrod or even better yet, the little desiccant packs. Um, basically, it keeps everything from uh, the moisture from going in and out of your safe so it keeps it from breathing. It's a good way to seal it up and it's easily removable because a lot of times these gaps right here, you know, when you pull these open, they have a nice little gap. So what works really well is you get some of this magnetic tape ordered on Amazon. This is three quarter of an inch wide. Uh, half inch would be too small to try and do this, believe me. Uh, one inch I'd probably buy it's magnetic, so you just throw it on there, and they're pretty strong. But you just, you know, it takes you some time, but you have to sit here and you have to cut them and line them up so you go all the way around this thing, blah, blah, blah. You get the picture. But it keeps that gap closed where the air is going in and out and in and out. So it works great on uh, real gun safes. And you can cut a piece around the hinges too, kind of tuck them up behind there. So you really, really, really seal up that crack well. So anyways... I will give you guys a break. But I just thought I'd share that point with you guys. I figured that out and it works awesome. I mean, awesome. So I put two big uh, silica packs in each one of these things and it's working great. And also I thought I'd mention, if you have something like this, that basically is like, a, like an ammo can or something like that, one of these gun cabinets, it works perfect. Just sucks right on there good to go and you can even cut a little pieces to, to finish them up but this is a sentinel I really really like that works great